Hey guys, I had a few people ask me about how to use Anki, so I figured I would just make a quick video uh, to make it easier for everybody to see how to use it. When you download the program, which I'll include the, include the link to it in the description of the video, you're going to open it up and you will get a profiles page like this. You should have a default one and you can click to rename it, whatever you want, we'll just do example in this case. Once you click on the profile and you come to this, you can, you'll can you have a default deck here. And you can also go to rename that uh, deck, whatever you'd like. Let's do microbio exam one for now. Click on the deck. You can go to this interface and you go to add card. So then once it comes up like this, you can choose the type of card you want to make. So for let's just start with the basic one. So it's a basic front and back. Let's do something like, uh, of E. coli. Okay, and then we'll do gram negative. Okay, so when we make this, uh, what's going to pop up on the front is what we have right here, and then same thing on the back. Go to add, close out of this, go to study now. So then what we see, gram classification of E. coli, go to show answer, uh, or the shortcut key is the space bar. Show answer, okay, we know that. Uh, so if we don't know that, you can click again and it'll show you the same card uh, again in a few minutes until you get it right again. And so say, okay, we remembered it this time. Um, you can hit good, so then it'll show you again in 10 minutes. And then uh, once you answer any card in uh, two consecutive tries with knowing it, uh, the option will be one day. So then if we hit good, it'll show it to us again tomorrow. And then uh, the, the next time you see it, so tomorrow morning when you see it, the options will be different in that if you keep answering the same card correctly, uh, these intervals will get longer and longer apart. Because if you know you remember it after seven days, uh, you shouldn't have to remind yourself again the next day. Uh, it should be more in long-term memory. Okay, so let's say good. So um, let's do a different type of card. Go to add. Uh, another one that's nice is called close. So uh, this one you can blank out uh, words. Okay, so let's say we have that. Double click that and go to these close brackets right here. Or the uh, uh, shortcut is Command Shift C, you know, like that. And it puts it in brackets like this. So we would have this and it kind of blanks out uh, this term. So if we go like this, uh, go to that, study now. So it shows up, it blanks this out. So equalize a gram. Negative bacteria, good, we know that, okay? Uh, one thing you can also do is you can add images, so... Um, go like that, so let's say we wanna close that. Uh, say we want an image on here just to refresh our memory when we uh, look at this card. Because sometimes uh, just seeing text uh, doesn't quite refresh your memory as maybe seeing a picture does. So if we do that, and then we put down here in this extra space, we can just uh, command paste the image that we copied to the clipboard and try that. So now when we go to study now, same thing, equalize, gram, negative. And then, but then this time the picture pops up. And so sometimes that really helps refresh your memory. So good, okay. Uh, one other thing you can do is when you say, say the test is coming up tomorrow, and you want to just run through your cards all at once, but you don't want to wait for them to be due, right, based on your review schedule. So we can just go to, um, go into the deck, and then you can go to custom study, go to study by card state or tag, and then go all cards in a random order, uh, cram mode. And uh, if you have tags, that's fine, but we don't really need to do that right now. Okay, and then it goes to this custom study session. So it throws all your cards at you, uh, no matter what they were on the study schedule. And uh, it also doesn't affect your uh, previous study schedule. It makes a new separate deck. So we can do that. And then it just kind of gives us all of our cards like this. Okay, so those are the two kind of basic uh, decks or types of cards that are uh, pretty useful to use if you're just trying to memorize lots of information. and the uh, important thing to note is that uh, I try and really be dil uh, diligent about not making too many cards because it's really easy to make a lot of flashcards and then you just get bogged down and have too many flashcards. 
and uh, for things that you might really not need to memorize or that you really in the back of your mind know and you don't necessarily need a flashcard for it. So really try and uh, make minimal flashcards for just the uh, really high yield points that you really need to just uh, cram into your memory. Okay. Uh, one other thing you can do that's really handy is you can do this, uh, it's called image occlusion. So what we're going to do is you can download this add-on by going to Tools, uh, Add-ons, and then go to Browse and Install. Uh, click Browse. And it's going to bring you to the Anki website. And go to Control F for Find and go to Image Occlusion. Okay, and it's going to be down here. Image Occlusion 2.0. Click on Info. And then it'll pop up with this code. So just command uh, Copy. And then go back to Anki and paste that code in this right here and it will uh, do the add-on for you. I already have it downloaded but uh, you can follow this download and it will add this program onto... Uh, it'll add the program onto your uh, computer. So once you have that added on, um, go back to your deck, go to add card, and now you should have this little icon right here that will uh, appear to where you can do the add-on. Uh, so one other quick thing that you want to make sure you can do is take a screenshot with your computer. And so Macs have uh, a built-in one, but you can also download uh, free programs on the internet that have a screenshot. So for this, you go to System Preferences, Keyboard, Shortcuts, and uh, you want the Copy Picture of Selected Area to the Clipboard. So you just want to be able to copy a picture real quick or a screenshot to your clipboard so that you can paste it in Anki. Uh, I just have a hotkey set for Command 2, uh, just whatever is easiest for you to take a quick screenshot. So let's say we have an image um, that we want to take a picture of. Uh, it's been, sometimes it's easy to get it in full screen to get a good picture. So for this one, I'm going to hit my hotkey Command 2, and that's going to pop up and uh, just drag over the image that you want to take a picture of so that automatically copies it into your clipboard go back to Anki click the image occlusion it's going to pop up and so whatever was on your clipboard it will paste it automatically into this so what you're going to want, what you're going to, want to do is make sure that the fill uh, down here is white and that the opacity or opaque, yeah, opacity of it is 100 so that it is not a see-through box and then you're going to click on this rectangle uh, tool right here. And what you can do is you can just click and drag a box over what you want to be blanked out. So say we want to remember flexor carpi radialis. Uh, drag a box over that and blank it out. Uh, let's say we also need to know flexor carpi ulnaris. Drag a, drag a box over that and that'll blank it out. And then we're going to hit this blue button down here for non-overlapping cards, which just means that on the flashcard, uh, both of the terms will be blanked out for any given card. Down here to make sure we have it on the right deck, good. And there you can also add a, uh, a header or a footer just to remind you of what it is. So let's just do forearm, just so we can have a header. Okay, click that. Two notes were added to your collection. Uh, close out of that. Uh, now we're back at close out of that as well. Okay, so now we have two new cards. Go to study now. And so this image just pops up like this with this box blanked out. So this is what we're trying to recall. So this was flexor carpi radialis. Good show answer. Okay, good, we know that. It's going to remind us again, oh, this is our other card, flexor carpi ulnaris. Okay, good. And then it'll go through that one more time. So that's really nice because, especially for anatomy, you can uh, blank out a lot of terms on these images and it'll just pop up and it's uh, good for quick recall. But again, uh, make sure you're being diligent with how many cards you make because you don't want to have just hundreds and hundreds of flashcards because the, that'll just make it a lot uh, harder for you to remain focused and um, dedicated to actually completing the flashcards in every day. Okay, so that is what I usually do with Anki that's helpful for uh, memorizing a lot of information. And uh, once you get used to this program, it's actually really helpful, too. And there actually is a uh, mobile app, but um, for iPhone operating systems, it costs $25, which is pretty steep, but 
considering you get this program on the computer for free, uh, it's a pretty, pretty nice donation to the guy that made the program because this program is extremely helpful. Okay. Uh, one other thing I thought I might uh, share is how I use OneNote to study for class. So what I do is up here, uh, I keep different tabs for each of the classes and exams. And then on the side, I do uh, lectures. So down here, I have all the different lectures we had in that given uh, exam, or that was going to be covered on the exam. And so what I've been doing that really helps for me is that after class, I will, or after or during class, I'll kind of make a really broad uh, outline slash study guide for that uh, topic. And so the key here for me has been to make sure that I'm not putting in uh, extra information that I don't really need to remind myself. So like say I knew what fatty acid oxidation was and I was completely comfortable with that. I wouldn't even have this subject in here because it would just be kind of taking up space of stuff I don't need to remind myself. And so that's one of the big things is that I've been trying to do is just really make sure that I'm not putting in extra information and just uh, wasting time typing or making cards for stuff that I really already know that I don't need to remind myself of. So for this, I just make like a general outline, you know, so follow along in the PowerPoints for your class and make outlines of the topics. You can also use your screenshot tool and add in pictures here too and make it really nice to remind yourself. You can change the colors of things to whatever you'd like to color code it whatever's easiest for you to make words pop out that are important to you. And so if you make one of these after every class, it makes it a lot easier to go back and review in a, in a timely manner rather than having to go back through the PowerPoints or handout or whatever it is. It just makes it a lot easier to come back here and just quickly review um, quickly review just the the hot points or the high points that you wanted to remind yourself of along with the images that you put in here uh, makes it a lot quicker for reviewing um, and yeah so I kinda just use that as a study guide to look over again and again try and go over at least like three to four times before any given exam uh, and one last thing that I found really helpful is that if you make kind of a uh, study guide before an exam, so say the night before an exam is coming up and you've already reviewed all your study guides and uh, made all your necessary material and you're feeling pretty good about it, but there's just like a few things here and there, you know, that you want to really remind yourself of. Uh, make like a quick, sh quick sheet to just kind of really hit uh, just um, key terms that you want to like remind yourself of. And so I just make like a general sheet like this and you can go to uh, layout, make it two columns just to save space. And you can also go to Format and Document and change the borders on the document to uh, really small on the edges so that it uh, kind of opens up the space because it doesn't really matter. And if you go like this, and so I just really use small font to just type the things that like I really want to remind myself. So just say like one thing is intermediate filaments in the nervous tissue include neurofilaments and fomentin. So just like that, no extra information on what that is because I just need to remember that these are the two types of intermediate filaments that are in the nervous tissue histo, or uh, in the nervous tissue. So this is really helpful because you can either print this out or just look at it on your computer or iPad or whatever, like the hours leading up to an exam or the night before when you really feel like you have most of it down, but there's just a few tiny little details or minutia that you need to remind yourself of. You can just kind of glance through this. You can highlight words, you know, uh, whatever is easiest for you in terms of refreshing your memory before an exam. So hopefully this uh, video was helpful and uh, thanks for watching and let me know